Okay, let's continue with unit 2, 2.2. Now we're going to talk about multiplication of polynomials. Here, the key aspect or concept that you need to take into account is the one of the properties of mathematics. In, uh, in this case, we're going to talk about the distributive property. What does that mean? Each of the terms of this first, in this case, binomial, is going to be multiplied by each of the terms of the other polynomial, in this case, a trinomial. How does that work? Let's see. I'm going to multiply 3a by this one, this one, and this one. And then the second term, and if I had more terms, this is what is going to happen, and then you understand how the drill goes. Then this term is going to be multiplied eventually by each of the terms of the next polynomial. And as we do that, then we're going to get a polynomial with six terms in this case, because I have two here and three here. Then I will just have to take into account and check if there are like terms that have to be combined. And then I will be done making sure that I order the final expression in the standard form. So let's begin. So let's begin with 3m. 3m times 2m squared. So how does that work? I'm going to multiply the numbers. It's 6 and m times m squared is m cubed. And now I continue doing the same thing, taking this into account. 3m times negative 6m. This is negative 18 and m times m is m squared. And now this is going to be a 15m. And now, second part, negative 4 times 2m squared is negative 8m squared. This negative 4 times negative 6 is 24m, and this is a negative 20. As I mentioned, now you have a polynomial of six terms, but I need just to combine like terms and then write it in the proper way. Let's take a look at this. This is the term with the highest degree, and there is no other term with a cubic, with a cube, sorry, exponent, so I just leave it as such. Now I'm going to continue with the quadratic ones. In this case, I have this. I'm going to cross this one out. M squared, M squared here. So I've got negative 18 minus 8. That's a negative 26 m squared, and I'm done with the quadratic terms. Now let's take a look at the linear terms, which are 15 and 24. That's a positive 39m. I'm done with the linears now, and I just have to write the constant here. As you may see, 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. It's a polynomial. It's written in standard form. It's a polynomial with degree 3, Leading coefficient 6, and that's it.